and welcome to Kids Corner. I'm Shirley and I'm joined by Sir Winston and we're dressed up as artists today because we're going to do some drawing and I hope you're going to join us. We're going to draw Noah's Ark. Now I don't know if you remember the story that I told you about Noah, but Noah was told by God to build an ark, a big boat in which he, his family, and a whole lot of animals went during a period where there was a lot of rain and a flood. So what you're going to need for this is a pencil, an eraser, some paper, and maybe some markers or crayons. Now it'll be easier for you to put the paper on the table, but if I put the paper on the table, it would be harder to see. I'm using a really dark pencil, so you can see it easier, but it's going to make it a little harder for me to erase. When we're doing this, we're going to start by drawing shapes and you want to do that lightly in pencil and then you're going to erase the lines that you don't need. So we're going to start first by doing the body of the boat that's known as a hull. So we're going to go down and we're going to kind of do a little curve. And then along the bottom, we're going to try to do it straight a little curve up and then we're going to do a straight line across to join the two curves. My line isn't exactly straight but you get the idea. Now we're going to draw what would be kind of like the house part of the boat and to do this we're going to start by drawing a rectangle. Up across and down. So there's the two major shapes to start with and now we're going to put a roof on the house part. So what we're going to do is go in a little from this corner and draw a slant. We're going to go to this corner and we're going to try to draw the same type of slant down just as far. And then we're going to join our two slants. Now the roof the way we're looking at it you kind of need to see the other part so at the top of this corner we're going to draw another slant it's going to go the opposite way and it's going to be a little steeper. A little like an upside down V with one side squeezed in a little more and it's not going to go down as long. So we put it down. See, not as long. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a horizontal line across until we hit this upright part. And then we're going to draw a slant from where it hits that up to the slant of this roof. Now we're going to divide our rectangle into the side and into the front of the houseboat part. So we're going to draw a straight line a little down from the roof. And you may remember I told you that the arc had one door. So maybe we'll put the door in the front and we'll draw what looks like close to a square. Now, when you're building a boat, you have a keel on the bottom that sort of goes along, curves up for the front, and that's where you fasten the planks. Well, when we're doing this, I think we're going to put the boat in water, so you're not going to see the keel here. But we're going to put it up for the front of the boat, the bow, and we're going to go up like that, and we're going to have it stick up a little. And we really have the shape of our arc. So what you want to do is take your eraser, and this is why you do it lightly. We just erase some of the pieces that we really don't need anymore. A little bit here, little bit there. And this is where 
You may take your crayons or your markers and add a few more details. And what I'm going to do, because I'm going to put the boat in water, I'm going to erase some along here. And where you don't have to go quite as dark with your pencil, should be a little easier. So, I'm going to take the blue, we're going to draw some waves here. And maybe make it look like it's going forward. We'll draw and maybe if you remember I told you it rained 40 days and 40 nights perhaps we'll have it still raining. So we'll have a little bit of wind here. The raindrops are coming one way. So there we are. Now I'm going to take my brown, because wood's usually brown, and I'm going to trace the outline. We might look at adding a few details if we want. Maybe you think, perhaps I can see a few of the planks that Noah put in. If you're very good, you could draw the plank all the way across. Now let's draw kind of the house part. Now, we can draw color in just a little because the door you wouldn't be able to see through. So we'll make that look a little darker. And maybe just two little lines for the shingles on the roof. And that's a little bit about how our art looks. Now you can draw different ways. Uh, this is not quite the first one I draw. Sir Winston and I did a bit of practicing here. And this one we drew, perhaps we have the ark on top of Mount Ararat. And there's no in the window. And he's just let the raven go, that the raven is going to go around and around. And you can see the sun's out and it's drying up. Mountains in the background, little bit of green. So I really like it if when you drew a picture, you could uh, take a picture of it and send it to us and we could put it up so we could see how you made your ark and what you did. And now while we end, perhaps we could have a little prayer if you could repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Please look after us. Please look after us. The way that you looked after Noah the way that you looked after Noah, his family, his family, and the animals, and the animals. Thank you. Thank you. For the people, for the people who look after us, who look after us, and others, and others. Help us, help us, when we feel sad, when we feel sad, and scared, and scared. Thank you. Thank you. For looking after us, for looking after us. Amen. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.